A new study has revealed the planet Jupiter may host a meteorological beast. In July 1994, we watched in awe as chunks of a shattered comet slammed into Jupiter. These impacts bruised the planet, and they released chemicals into the atmosphere. Decades later, astronomers were still able to detect one hydrogen cyanide, which they used to track the winds in Jupiter's stratosphere and found they blew at speeds up to 1,500 kilometers per hour, over three times faster than the strongest winds on Earth. Astronomers have declared that Earth is safe from giant asteroid Apophis. Shortly after its 2004 discovery, this massive 350 meter wide near Earth asteroid was briefly ranked as the most dangerous asteroid threat known to Earth. More sightings since had ruled out all but one of Apophis's potential impact threats. And now, thanks to new radar observations gathered during the asteroid's March 2021 flyby, we know that Earth is completely safe from Apophis for at least the next 100 years. On March 28th, we had our third full moon of 2021, and it was called the Worm Moon. Now, as many of us know, the full moon or new moon has an impact on the oceans here on Earth. And so does the sun. Okay, with more on to why this is, here's meteorologist Tyler Hamilton joining me. Well, here it is, Kim. We have two high tides and two low tides every 24 hours. But what is going on? Well, think of this as the world's largest game of tug of war. We've got two players here in the new moon and full moon tidal cycle. This alignment really bulges that ocean water towards the moon and the sun. That's why the tides are really enhanced or at their peak because you're not only getting the moon's gravitational pull, which is two times the force of the sun, 400 times further away from the moon is the sun. So you're also getting that influence as well. Now we combine this gravitational pull with a major storm system and it can be disastrous. Absolutely. So you can obviously get full moons and new moons during the tropical season. And Atlantic Canada, you are no stranger to hurricanes. Think back to Hurricane Juan in 2003. That's where Halifax Harbor set a record for storm surge over and above the high tide. In fact, two meters. So that can be incredibly significant as well. Okay, we have an ocean on the other side of the country, and the Pacific is certainly no slouch, and BC, no stranger to some really big tides. And yeah, it's a bit of a hidden danger. So Pacific storm season happens in the fall and winter, and that's timed perfectly with the king tides during the winter solstice. Think of this type of tide, really a tide on steroids. Not only are you getting the pull from the moon and the sun, you're also getting the moon in its closest approach to Earth, which will occur December 4th, 2021, just a mere 356,000 kilometers away. <laughs> so these things are, I guess, a little bit easier to predict and people can perhaps expect a warning when this happens. Definitely, and British Columbia is all over this one, the BC Storm Surge Forecasting Center, whenever strong winds and low pressure systems move ashore. Thanks, Ty. Be sure to visit theweathernetwork.com and head to our Out of This World page. That's where you can read much more about what's happening in the skies above. From our space and science writer, Scott Sutherland.